Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about Vitex. This is a review on Chase Berry, also known as Vitex. I had been looking at reviews and just um, different things that Vitex can do. A lot of people take it for fertility, a lot of people take it for PMS, a lot of women take it for menopausal support because it helps the body balance out the hormones in a more natural way. So I decided to give it a try um, for my own reasons. Now I've only been taking this for about um, I guess about a month maybe. I got these from GNC. They are the 500 milligrams. I like to get my, if I do take supplements, I do try to buy the supplements that are as natural, um, whatever that means, as possible. And these are the vegetarian capsules. I believe they are... You know, they have no sugar, no starch, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no wheat, it's gluten-free, no corn, no soy, no dairy, yeast-free. So, that's all of this good stuff. If the camera focuses or not. Okay, so anyways, like I said, I've only been taking it for about a month and most of the reviews say give it about three to six months for a lot of different things. Now, I didn't really see too much on as far as the Vitex helping out with fertility, even though that's what some women take it for. But I did see a lot of reviews saying that it helped with skin problems <clears throat> like hormonal acne and things like that. And it also helped with PMS symptoms. And that's why I'm making this video so early because I noticed when I started taking this, it was about a week before, a week or two maybe a week and a half before I had my menstrual cycle and I have really bad PMS and that's like the breast tenderness that is uh, maybe my husband would say more moodiness um, but I just I get really hungry it affects my appetite so it just my PMS is it's out there and when I say the breast tenderness I mean they become it's swollen it always reminds me of whenever I used to breastfeed and it was like a let down sensation of the milk and it would just become really sore I couldn't roll over on them couldn't you know don't don't touch me don't touch them leave them alone that that would happen and I also experienced lots of nausea with my PM, uh, PMS it was just not good so just a week into taking these now again, these are the 500 milligrams as you can see. Now when I was looking at the reviews, a lot of people were taking between eight and a thousand milligrams. I guess you can find capsules that have a higher dosage than these. So I just took two. I took two instead of taking one. And I will say that I noticed a difference with my PMS even that soon. My PMS is pretty consistent. Um, even though my periods tend to day I have about a 42 day cycle and I'll say my period came sooner I don't know if it was the Vitex or not because it is supposed to regulate help to regulate the menstrual cycle as it does supposedly help to regulate um, and balance hormones and things like that so my period ended up coming like a week sooner so I was like okay well maybe maybe it's the Vitex too because again I had I want to say I've been taking it for two weeks so I ended up only having a 30, 35 day cycle this go around and normally my cycle average is out about 40, uh, 42 day cycle is my average cycle. So I didn't have as much breast tenderness. They weren't as sore and swollen. Now they still got sore and swollen, but it wasn't like it always is. Um, and I don't think that my mood shifted that much. I think that it kind of stabilized my my moods. So I noticed that as far as the bleeding goes, I don't think it helped that. <laughs> um, whenever I was younger, my periods have always been irregular, but in younger years, I would have really short, like two to three day periods, but they would only come like every three to four months. I'm not going to say I missed that, but if you're at the reproductive stage and you want to have a family, that may not be the best thing for you. Um, so yeah, don't 
don't um not I'm not pleased with having five to seven day menstrual cycles. But yeah, mine was it was like six days in total, which is just horrible. But anyways, to say the least, I would give it a try. If you have horrible PMS, um, I would give it a try. If you have hormonal acne from PMS, I would give it a try too. I haven't seen any difference in my face, but I never, my skin was never troubled skin per se. I do have like some, some blemishes on my skin. But for the most part, no, not really. But I do look to see if it does make my skin better because I, I've only been taking it now for a month. But again, I noticed those subtle differences that early on. So maybe as I take it more, because I do plan on keeping up with it for at least six months to see if there are some telltale signs. If I pop up and I become pregnant, who knows? Um, but we'll see. I do want to try another brand. I bought this because it was at my local GNC store and I just kind of wanted to get it now because I knew that my PMS was about to start. So I wanted to get on this before PMS started to see if it would make a difference and lo and behold, it did. But again, every woman's body is different. The average review said give it three to six months and for to see cyclic changes, give it I believe it said give it one full cycle before you really saw the difference between that. But hey, again, I saw a subtle difference with it. So again, I would recommend it. And most of the reviews that I saw would recommend it too. Not sure how well, it's, how well it does do for fertility. I'm not sure. Um, I think everything is about energy anyway. So, but PMS, I think we have a go right here. So we'll see how my next cycle is. And I will do an updated review on this Chase Berry, but so far so good. So I wanted to just go ahead and put this one out there in case you're thinking about it, wanted to try it, whatever. Um, but this is my little review. And again, like I said, I will do a follow up in probably about three to six months, somewhere in that range. But anyways, guys, give it a try. It's not bad. I didn't have any side, no side effects so far. So we'll, we shall see. But there we go, guys. Chase Berry GNC brand. These were $11.99, literally, I think. Um, again, I, I might try a more wholesome or organic brand, but there's I haven't found anything wrong with these. $11.99, but I know that I found some on Amazon that are like non-GMO and organic. I'm going to give them a try to see if there's a difference. But I'm going to finish this. 100 capsule bottle first so yeah we not waste any money all right guys you guys have a wonderful great day or night wherever you are bye guys